Welcome to Monoprice, my name is Dimitri, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your new Monoprice Maker Pro MK1 3D printer. Before we start, let's lay out all of our components and verify the package contents with the included quick start guide to ensure we have all the necessary items. If any of the items are missing, please contact our product support team for further assistance. Now to begin assembly, we will start with the base on its side and the left hand Z axis pillar labeled with the number 1. Slide the pillar onto the vertical locker, also labeled with the number 1. Holding the pillar in place, use the supplied hex key driver to start tightening the hex screw already in place inside of the frame from underneath the printer. Do not tighten it down completely as to allow for adjustment later on. Next, we're going to do the same to the pillar 2 on the opposite side. Now, on the top of each pillar, there will be a hex screw labeled 3 and 4. Loosen both of these screws to about 5mm unthreaded to provide sufficient space to insert the Z-axis gantry. Remove the end caps on the Z-axis gantry and slide it under the hex bolts and lock washers. If there is resistance, you may need to loosen the bolt and lock washer a little more in order to have the gantry slide in easily. Insert the hex screw driver from the top of the gantry and tighten the hex bolts on each side. Once done, go ahead and replace the end caps on the gantry. Next, we'll take our x-axis rail and screw in the spacers on each of their perspective sides, labeled 5 and 6. Be sure not to tighten down these spacers because they do need room to move and they will seat on the next step. Mount the x-axis rail assembly by inserting the spacer between the rubber wheels on the z-axis stepper. At this point, you may need to move the spacers to fit on each of their sides properly. Tighten the two hex screws to secure the x-axis spacers to the z-axis stepper. This will also seat the spacers properly. Next, we will install the MK12 extruder using the four supplied hex screws. There will be two hex screws on each side of the extruder assembly. Go ahead and install the four and tighten them down. Now that the assembly is all complete, we can install the ribbon cable to the top of the extruder assembly labeled E. Run the cable to the top wiring harness clip and route the ribbon cable around the gantry and down the right hand pillar using the supplied cable management clips. And then plug the ribbon into the front of the unit's base labeled E. On the left side of the unit there will be two connectors labeled A and B for the x-axis limit switch and stepper motor. Behind there you will find the C connector for the z-axis stepper motor. For the opposite side, you will find the D connector for the right side stepper motor on the Z axis. Finally, you will now level the Z axis by placing a leveler on the axis to make sure each side is correct. Any adjustments can be made by rotating the coupler on the bottom of the Z axis. There is also a reference line on the back of each pillar that can be used to bring the Z axis to an even height. Now you may go ahead and power on the unit. Before starting the auto leveling process, you will want to raise the extruder assembly about halfway up the gantry and tighten all four hex screws and as well as the four set screws on the vertical pillar base. If the pillars are not seated straight, you may need to loosen the top and bottom hex screws and re-raise the extruder assembly before tightening back down the hex bolts and the set screws. Congratulations! You have successfully assembled your new Maker Pro MK1 3D printer. We hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Dimitri with Monoprice. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out monoprice.com for 3D printing products and support. Now, on the top of each pillar, <laughs> that was real. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. You've accepted. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much for watching. If you don't, oh. And don't forget to check. Oh my god! Ah! It's because it's like the next line.